in problem table if priority is P2 show a info message or error message. So this is another requirement and this requirement is definitely small requirement. Let's understand one more time the requirement. So if I go back to the problem under this problem module you have a option called create new or maybe you can create uh, or maybe you can open existing rec uh, record and once we opening that or um, getting that what it is showing that the priority now if your priority is p2 at the moment there is p priority is 5 but if your priority is p2 and then what should happen i should show a error message in the top or maybe info message in the top so this is the requirement to achieve this requirement i am going to use the client script again and then uh, this time i am going to use that on change client script so i am going to use the on change client script and then method i am going to use the g underscore form method definitely i using the g underscore form method i am going to show the error message so for that i am going to uh, here client under client script module and then i am going to create a new client script then i'll put the name called show error message or show message something like that and table will be the change request table because we are trying to implement under this change request and then type will be all and then uh, I mean UI type will be all and then type will be on change. So once you click the on change you can see there is a one additional field called field name. So on basis of what field name I should run that so that is what they are trying to say. So let's say that the field name will be the priority right so I'll select the priority. So changing on the priority field this client script will be run. Now if you see that under this there is a block pre-populated called um, you know called is loading or new value equal to equal to now. So this block will be executed whenever your form is loaded like it will run as on load client script this block and this block will be run as a on change client script. Let's say that I am creating a new um, a problem which have the priority is p2 to make this p2 what we have to do we have to make this mo uh, moderate and here we can check the moderate and maybe high and at that moment this priority get changed to the p2 and at that moment somebody do that i should show a message in the top so this is might be the requirement so let's first implement that and then we'll come back to the existing record to do that let's say first we have to validate that what is the current priority to check that priority i have to be say that p equal to g underscore form dot get value and then we can get the field value of particular field let's say i am using the priority so i want to check the priority value so under this p will have the priority value okay and then if you see the back end name of the prior high is the two okay so if the p I'm putting that if p equal to equal to 2 then we should show an error message to show the error message we can use the g underscore form and then there is a one one option called a add error message or add error info message so error message will be come into the red color and then info message will come in a uh, blue color so this is the little difference so we will say the error message and say that this is a p2 ticket will be resolved soon something like that so this is my uh, message okay let's um, here uh, i'll do a or condition and then let's say the p equal to equal to in quotes to either it can be number or maybe string i don't know at the moment so i'm just putting that if the value is I should show an error message in earlier video we talk about the g underscore form method using that we can get the value we can set the value and this time we are talking about that g underscore form method using that we can show or error message or maybe we can um, info message so let's save that and so our client script is saved so if we refresh here so this is our new record at that moment and if we uh, let's say that in this new record if we see the priority at that moment 5 so if we check to that high and at that moment priority still 3 and if we check 2 so this time the priority is 2 or maybe priority is high right 
So one mistake we have done. So if you see, this is the change request we are pointing, and I am testing in the problem. So we should change to this problem uh, module. So let's do that. Actually, we can do any of this table depending on your requirement. So I am selecting the problem. Let's say at that moment uh, this priority is five, and if we change to this um, two, and this one is two, and it will be still in three. And let's say I am putting this high. P2 and at that moment once this priority got changed the info message showing in this top So this is the error message basically So we can replace that to error message to the info message to show these in blue color So this error message is showing top now Let's go back to this problem record and existing record. So this is the new record if I open any existing record and Let's say that I'm opening any existing record where priority is high and if we open this priority and you can see uh, this time the this error message is not showing here, right? So this error message is not showing. But if we change this priority back here, then this error message is showing. Basically, it is not working as an all load, right? So it is whenever you are loading the form, and if you if have that already value called P2 or P2, this is not working. But once you change something and then change back to that, basically on change it is working, right? So this is the issue either we, to resolve this issue we can create another onload client script to check that the priority is p2 or not or else we can modify here directly and then i mean we can copy the same code here and then paste here to resolve this issue so we can do these things again here although this is not a good practice both the variable are same name so you can change their name call top one is p1 and then bottom one is p2 anything you can do that so at that moment on the top side, uh, this will be run for on load and this will be done for on chain, the bottom part. Okay. Now let's, this is the new record and this is the old record or maybe existing record. So if we refresh that existing record, you can see existing record showing this error message. And if this is the new record, so if I refresh there, you can see the new record C side will be always minus one. So you can see this new record is C side is one and at the moment it is P5. So if we change that high and medium, so it's P2 and at that moment it is showing there. So both the way you can do that. So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.